Welcome to Education and Safety. Today, we try to reach the summit, the shark fin. I did forget to mention that the way up the shark fin mountain, what we're going to be taking is off to the right side of the filming today, going up shark fin pass. From my point of view, we'll take approximately one hour to that point. To get to the base back side of the shark fin mountain, it'll take one more hour and another hour to make it to the summit if all goes well. We are bringing along with us plenty of water, food, snacks, cold weather, and rain gear. We also are bringing along a rain gear cleats that we can hook on to our bottom of our boots in order to get down the mountain unless it rains and gets icy. We also have gloves that are rubber that are extremely good. We also have gloves that have grip in ice. So to get our day started, we must seek the shark fin trail to the bottom right corner of the filming and we will get started to the summit. If there's any interference along this pathway, we will have no option to turn back. Welcome to Education and Safety. I'm Mike. We're in the Red Rock Canyons, mountains, glacier areas. At one time, this was under the ocean, deep under the ocean. So did the ground push up or did the ocean go away? That's the question. Behind me is Sharkfin Mountain, between seven and 9,000 feet tall. You have red rock, you have hard stone, you have all kinds of different types of gray stone, very strong. To kick off our hike today, we are going to go up to Sharkfin Trail. Sharkfin Trail, from where I stand, is approximately 50 minutes. So to get started, we're going to go look for a hiking stick. We're going to find one, make one, and get to the top of trail. Today's November 29th, 2023. The time is 109 p.m. in the afternoon. The temperature 62.000001. Let's get started. All right, so we don't have our hiking shoes because we don't own any hiking shoes. We don't have a walking stick because we're going to find one and make one. We have no water. We're going to find water or someone that has water. We forgot our cup again. Also, we forgot our can. But we're going to still attempt this hike to the top of Shark Fin Trail. Let's conquer. Let's try. The V hike, straight ahead, where I'm pointing. That is a hike 
that is actually more difficult than hiking up the shark fin trail because there's trickier rocks and so forth but you can and when you get to the top of the v when you get to the top of the v the outlook out there is okay just okay the top of the shark fin trail to see the shark fin with the mountain one of the best sights you can see in the united states of america it's amazing it's amazing same time easier walk if it gets really dark out easier to come down you get dark out coming down the v everything that lives in the v comes out of the v to eat hunt and capture when you come down the shark fin nothing there desert rock and cacti cacti so but the most important thing is i brought my gloves because i always keep two pairs of gloves attached to my backpack at all time and that's why i always have my gloves i need to leave a cup in my backpack and today i think we also we have everything other than water and a walking stick no food we're not going that far 45 minutes up 45 minutes back and that's uh, if everything goes well let's get going all right so we got here so we got right here to the area and I found a interesting specimen for a hiking stick take a look at it a little curvy looks pretty good from here to there I'm I'm thinking maybe like cutting it here right about there and then maybe cutting it right about here that should give me some good working condition. Okay, I'm gonna get started hike and cut it. All right, so I cut it off at the angle right there. Could have cut it maybe a little bit more. And I kept this. Now I'm gonna take the back of my knife and scrape off this stuff so it's nice and to handle it. And then we'll get going. A lot of stuff on here. I'll use the back of the knife. Out the front i don't want to dull the blade all right so we got a pretty nice walking stick here pretty tall it's as tall as me and uh believe it or not when i went for my knife my bigger knife i found my cup i found my tin cup my regular cup i found my teapot i found a can of butane i don't have a stove i have matches um, other than that, we're good. I, I think we, no water though, so let's get rolling. Storm looks like it's coming in, so we're going to have to make this uh, pretty swift. Okay, we're going to time it and see how long it takes. I think I just saw a jackrabbit over my shoulder. It ducked in behind a shrub. I'm going to sneak up on it and see if I can get a video of it. And... Uh, then we're going to time it and see what it takes to get to the base of the shark fin trail, shark fin trail, and then to the top of shark fin trail from the base. We'll see what it does. Here we go. Let's see if this track rabbit is going to pop out. I don't have a container that I can keep water in but if I did I could get this water right here and put it in a container and when I get it to the top I could start a fire and boil it because I brought my teapot but hey we're gonna we're gonna conquer this without any water and that'll be the way it is so it's, it's a good day temperature 60 maybe 60 right now as we get up here in the shade, it's probably going to get a little chillier, so I probably won't sweat as much. 
And I also didn't bring an extra pair of socks. I didn't bring an extra pair t-shirt. So if I get wet, I have no choice to take my t-shirt off. And then my socks get really irritating. I'll have no choice to try to dry them out when I get up there. So let's just keep pushing on. Boy, having a long hiking stick really pays off when you're going down hills and up hills. That's for sure. Let's go. See what's going on. Check it out. Really neat. I think I'm going to I'm going to cut right up these rocks here and get out of this this uh, area that's all rained off. Just remember when you hike, after rain, all these rocks are slippery, all the sand puffs out. Super dangerous. Something lives in there. Something's sleeping. I didn't see any footprints, so maybe something already got it. But here we are. We're getting to the... All right. Whew. Just had to stop and knock out all the stones in my shoes. I feel much better now. And uh, the desert, when you hike, gets a lot of stones in your shoes so you better be careful because you don't want to create a blister when you're up here all right it's looking good let me show you so there is the base of the shark fin to the right which is the red and the gray stone the bottom of that that's where we're headed to we're we're headed there now Let's go. All right, so now we're getting into the thick of the hike. This is, we're getting close to the base soon. As soon as I'll go to the base, I'm gonna uh, take a break right where it meets the bottom of the V. And then we'll go up to the right and we'll go up there. But uh, I'm gonna take a break over there because if I don't have water, I'm gonna have to make a determination I'm gonna go on unless I, I meet another hiker that happens to have a bottle of water. So this trail that I'm on is what everybody takes. The trail. And easy to follow, easy to walk up. I think uh from right here, pretty far up, you could probably push a wheelchair with big wheels pretty far up so you get to the base of it. Then it becomes really rugged because this trail that I'm on doesn't have any washout from the rain. It just stays packed from the years and years and years of hikers going up. Check it out. Going right up to there, right there. Take a break. Beautiful though, look at that. It's amazing. I try to eat right, I try to exercise. you got to lubricate your joints so when I get done with this hike I am going to do some research and find out what I need to eat 
or supplements to help my joints. And you say, well, what joints? Well, you got three joints. You got vertebrae joints, but most of all, you have hip joints, knee joints, and ankle joints. And believe it or not, I think the most delicate part of the body, if you really think about it, is probably the knee or the ankle. But you say to yourself, why do your hip joints hurt? Why do your hip joints hurt? Is it because you're not stretched out? Is it the joint or is it just the muscles? Maybe it's the muscles. Because I don't hear any crunching. Maybe I need to stretch before I hike. So when I get up here, I'm gonna do a search for water. I know there's nothing up here as a pond right here. I know that there's plants that have water, but that takes thorough education on what plants you can draw water from. And then there's water that's stagnant. I know you can boil that, or you can use tabs of disinfectant. So, pretty soon, I'm gonna stop up here and check my backpack, take a break, see what time it is, because we'll be at the base. Here we go. All right, we're gonna call this Resting Rock. Okay. The base of the shark fin. There it is. Resting rock. This is where we're at. So, I brought two sticks along with me in case I want to rub two sticks together and make a fire. And also, let's see what else we brought along. All right. So I have a teapot. That doesn't do me too much good without water or plants. Oh, I did bring my cup. So I have my cup. And I think I left my tea bags in there. So I got tea in there. I got my saw. I got a can of butane. Butane. That doesn't do you too much good if you don't have a stove. But you could compromise and figure something out. Um, start a fire if you have a match. I'm not sure if it'd be super dangerous. I think it would be super dangerous. I got an extra cup. I always keep that in there. Let's see what else we got. We have a propane adapter for the stove, but we don't have the stove. Oh, we do have my, I always keep my, my twirling stick to start a fire, but we never start a fire yet with it. I don't think there's enough texture on the bottom. I think the wood is too hard. But anyway, it does work. And then we have, let's see what else we have in here. There's got to be something in here. Plastic bags. Sandpaper. I got my knife, my big knife. What else? I normally keep my big knife on me. There's got to be water in here somewhere. Let's see if there is. I'm digging and I can't find it. Let's just keep dig more. Even a little can of water or a little bottle of water. Sometimes I just keep a little tiny bottle of water. No, I don't have a... I don't think so. So, no water. But I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling sturdy. My mouth isn't dry. Let's see if there's any snacks in here. I usually keep snacks in here. No snacks. I got a towel. I can wipe the sweat away from my face. That'll be nice. So I'll keep that. Make sure there's no thorns in it. Okay. That feels good. Oh yeah. That feels real good. I keep, I curled my hat up so it, I don't get so hot. 
let's see here what else I got I got a that's it that's it so we're gonna get going up here we're gonna get going up the trail that hike when we get to uh, base camp four that's at the uh, bottom of the, of the shark fin trail and then the top of shark fin trail is base camp five base camp six is at the first false turn to the right at the base of the shark fin that's base camp six and as you go up you'll see where each base camp is so we're going to get there and we're going to get there let's keep pushing on right there and i was digging around aha some water not much but that will keep me alive for this trip. So I'm good to go. Yeah, the Fiji water is pretty good. I try different stuff all the time. It's pretty pure. I'm just going to take a little teeny sip. So I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention to you, we're uh, with that little break I just took right now, and I'm still at it, uh, 27 minutes from the car to here. So it's going to probably take another... 27 minutes to get to the top. Let's check it out. I started the stopwatch. I'm packing up right now. Okay, so this is how it works. It's climbing stairs. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. Take your time. Take small steps. It's tall. It's high. And uh, there's altitude involved. Of course, there's latitude, longitude and latitude involved as well, but that's a moving motion. But the altitude is climbing all the time. Air quality today, I would have to say it's pretty good. It's not that bad. The colder it gets, it always seems to be a little crisper, a little cleaner, a little cleaner. But we're going. Trails changing all the time. Every time it rains, it washes out. Check this out. So it's rough. It's rough. So it's really rough. Now, this is a trail. Now, if it rained and it froze, you'd have a little of a chance because you'd have some rocks on certain sides that might not get so much ice. But if it rained and froze with a quarter inch of ice, that would give you major trouble. I think the trail goes this way. It's so hard to follow the trail anymore is so washed out. Maybe it went the other way. This looks a little rougher. Oh my gosh. You gotta keep your breath. That's for sure. And this is only six, seven, maybe five, 5,000 feet. Colorado, A Basin, ski resort is in the Continental Divide. We're talking 16, 15,000 feet. And uh, yeah, that's why most tourists don't take a vacation from the East Coast to go skiing at A Basin, Colorado. They'll go to Keystone, Copper, Breckenridge, Vail, Steamboat, springs and those resorts but they're not going to go to a basin they're not going to go to jackson hole wyoming sometimes jackson hole Wy jackson hole is probably one of the most serious mountains i ever skied and uh this right here with snow on a lot of snow would be a really nice run this would be 
a really nice run. You could easily ski this. It's not too steep at all. Let's keep going. Those are my favorite cactuses. Right there. Right there. You have to look it up. I'm gonna call them the roll cacti. Let's keep flying. All right, let's keep flying. Always, always stunt pilots out here doing loops and barrel rolls. You can hear them. We're getting there and you know you're getting there when you see this group of rocks right here. Those group of rocks right there. So we're going to keep climbing. We're going to do it with one push. One push. I got it 100 yards. 100 yards ahead. All right. So. I'm doing pretty good. I'm not hiking for a while. 42 years old. Not bad for an old man. Born in 1981. Whew. Pretty good. Not bad at all. I'm going to take that 100 yards back. I'm going to double it. We got 200 yards. Yep. 200 yards. Here's the steps. yards to go and we'll be there That is the shark fin. And the views here on cloudy days, it's amazing. So we made it 21 minutes, 21.00.08. Five, eight, seven, nine. Absolutely. Amazing. So we did it. We got to the top and uh, there's views all over the place, as you can see. And uh, I'm looking over this way over my shoulder. You can actually go out and check that out and overlooks the whole valley. Or you can just keep hiking and hiking and uh, go up the back side of the shark fin and up and around. So what you would do is take this trail here down around into the valley and then right about there you can see there's a trail on the side of the mountain. You can take that it goes up and over and then you can take that all the way up to the top to the point and you can come back down. If you feel it's too hard you can always follow all the people that are going to the roadside over this way 
and ask them if they'd give you a ride back to where you're at, which is easy, or they can just drop you off where you turn onto the road to get into this area off of, Mount, uh, off of Charleston Boulevard. So if you get to the top, you can always hike back down. The hike back down to the road in the national park where it's a paid park, that's probably maybe, I don't know, an hour, hour hike, um, maybe an hour and a half. And if you're really slow, two hours. So, but from right here, this is from right here, this is probably two to three hours to get to that peak safely. All right, I'm gonna get a drink of water. I don't see any snacks. And then I'm gonna head right back right away. Take a few photos. All right, so we rested up. Didn't need any water at all, but we're headed out. We're going down right now. And maybe uh, I'll get a drink back at the car. If I need one, I'll get one. Let's get going back down. Even though the best time to be up here is when the sun is going down. And just before the sun goes, as the sun goes behind the horizon, you got about 20 minutes to get to the base of the mountain. Once you get to the base of the mountain, you got a nice trail and you can go anywhere you want to. It's wide open, no cacti, everything's good and safe. All right, well, let's rock and roll back down. Let's see how long it takes from here to the car. Well, I'm gonna finish it up right now. So thanks for joining me on education and safety. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever get a chance, take a look at my links below. I think I might have something special down there that if you wanted to uh, share uh, any information you can and um, that'd be great so that's the shark fin and that is where we're headed not today though but today would be a good day as long as it's not gonna rain um, but I don't have enough gear with me so we're just gonna head back and thanks for joining me till next time make adventures make journeys and Always be super safe. Take enough supplies with you. You can always throw supplies away when you're hiking. Let it for someone else that needs it. it. Might be costly, but you might be helping someone. You never know. All right. All right, so it took me uh, like 30, 32, 33 minutes, 32 minutes to get back down to where I made my walking stick. It's going to take me another 15, 20 to get to the car. All right, that's what it took. Hope you enjoyed. Let's see if we can see them from wildlife now because it's getting, the sun's going down and stuff comes out. Let's see. Maybe a few uh, chipmunks, coyotes, foxes, roadrunners, birds. Let's see.
Thanks for watching Education and Safety. Till the next time, make your own journeys and adventures.